hello viewers welcome to another exciting episode of regional review with namibia media holdings my name is tuye mohaidula and i'm bringing you the update from oshana region <music> In today's bulletin, we are going to talk about the launch of the Vin Par Essie Winery launch and gala dinner, which took place on Saturday at Ongwediva Women's Center Hall. South African TV personality Boitu Melo Tulo was the guest of honor. Other business people also graced the occasion, which include the Chico. The Minister of Information and Communication Technology, Pea Mushelenga, also graced the occasion. And of course, Oshana Regional Governor, Elia Irimari. Shilimela told the crowd that she is excited and happy to be contributing to the lifestyle of Namibians who enjoy wine and good food. She said her and her husband, Vanda Shilimela, are on their way to becoming business moguls by running their 63 groups of companies and counting. Shilimela said, while there is luck in everything that you do, she said, hard work and dedication and consistency will get you to realize your dreams, which she felt on Saturday, her hard work, consistency and dedication led her to realize her dream of launching Vin Par SC Winery. Hello Namibia, Big Ben here. If you have been vaccinated against COVID-19, then sharp sharp, you're doing the most. But if not, please join me in Opuo on the 26th of October and Ochuarongo on the 10th of November at a dedicated vaccination center and we're going to talk about it and find a way to kick COVID out of Namibia. My Namibia, my country, my pride. See you there. Now, to move on to our next episode, we are going to talk about the COVID-19 impact on schools, high schools, primary schools, and the education sector in Namibia as a whole. As we've all learned, COVID-19 has caused a serious disruption in our everyday lives, and we are, not, we are waiting to return to the norm, but the norm is definitely not coming back. So we are going to adjust and leave life as it comes. Haimbili Haofiku Senior Secondary School Principal has shared with us tips on how other schools and teachers can still get the great results that they want to get from their learners or pupils, should I say, besides the COVID-19 disruption in schooling and how things should be done. My name is Rabanus Chaninga, the school principal of Haimbiri Haofiku Senior Secondary School. Um, during COVID-19, of course, it has been a hard time for us to, to, to break through. Um, uh, it's one of those, I think, uh, tough times really we had before. I mean, you, we have never experienced it before. So, what happened is that immediately after the lockdown, uh, it was hectic and it was a bit of chaos. But however, we tried to settle in, just like any other person, like we were told, of course, we must try it online. 
It's something that we tried. But to be honest with you, I don't think it's something that one can say it has really contributed towards good results. Uh, online teaching, because remember, um, although we are a town school, majority of our learners are learners from the remote areas and they are kids from uh, a poor background. Uh, very, very few that could get uh, a smartphone to navigate through uh, 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 these uh, online uh, studies. So, of course, we, 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 we waited a bit on, although those that could, uh, teachers did it through WhatsApps and all that, and Zoom classes and so, but however, we focused only after when we came back. Uh, number one, you have to get the kids to understand that. Um, one thing that I always tell them, it doesn't matter whether we had a situation. The certificate itself, it will never be written that you had COVID in the Middle East. The certificate will be straightforward. If you are in grade 12, it's for grade 12. Grade 11, it's for grade 11. And there shall be no day that you have something like no results will be relaxed, uh, entries to universities. So it's motivation. We motivated the kids. We motivated the kids and the teachers, they did their part. So they taught, kids were taught, they responded, and therefore it is just motivation to encourage the kids and then just to ensure that also the teachers are doing what they're supposed to do. And we just did it just that way. And of course, we were happy with the results at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, 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 Monday, they will start with oral, but then the exam will start somewhere end of October. Two, I think I have, uh, not I think, I have good teachers. Uh, they, they, they are result oriented. They, they, they are very committed. You don't push them. They understand. They just understand. We need results and we just need to give. Then us need to be helped to pass and become somebody. That's our understanding. Finish and then that helps us a lot to, 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 to bring results. And of course, kids need somebody who should make them to understand why school why are they here yeah that's all smart discipline teachers good teachers and then you motivate the kids that's all Looking at the weather for the far north of Namibia for the next week, Umuthia or Shakati, Ondangwa 